Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to set up an alarm on your iPhone SE third generation. Now luckily for you, this is a very basic process and there really isn't anything crazy with it. So all you have to do is go ahead and find your specific clock application. If you're using a different clock application, you can go and go through the same process, but you want to go and find this clock application that looks like this. So you want to go and open it up and you'll get into this panel. Now all you want to do here is go ahead and at the bottom you'll see world clock, you'll see alarm, you'll see stopwatch, and you'll see whatever that is. All you have to do is go and click on that alarm option which is right here. And at this point you'll come into this panel. Now all you'll have to do is go ahead in the top right you'll be able to see that plus icon. All you want to do is go and click on that plus icon and you'll see this little panel come up. Now this is where you can go ahead and configure it however which way you want to go ahead and configure this. You'll be able to go ahead and set up your alarm very easily. So what you can do is you can go and go through here you can choose the time that you want to go and set your alarm for. So if you want to set an alarm for 2.19 p.m., well, you can go and set it up like this. Type in 2.19 p.m. right there, and you can go ahead and have it repeat. Now, this is important. I recommend clicking the days that you want it to repeat. If you don't do this, the alarm will probably not go off. At least in my case, it doesn't really go off. So if you don't want it, so let's say you want to work every single day of the week or whatever, well, you can set it up like this, and at 2.19 p.m., whatever, it's going to set an alarm for those days. So in this case, we'll just go and just turn it off for the time being. But you want to go ahead and configure it however which way you want to. You can enable snooze if you want to. Sometimes you may, sometimes you may not want to have that ability. And you can also choose a different sound. Now, I'm not going to play any sounds here, but you just want to choose the sound of your alarm. You can click through and find the one that's most annoying. The default one is already pretty annoying. So at that point, you're pretty much good to go. All you have to do here is click save and the alarm will be saved and it will come up right here. And from there, you don't really have to do anything else. The alarm should be able to go, and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.